All right, here we are at some more knolls. Pick this up. Now, these guys here are not much different from the knolls we just fought over here with Flynn. Except this guy here is going to be kind of the main focus of this group. They're not too dangerous, just, you know, be aware that the ranged, these guys, have um, the flurry, the same, or the fury, whatever it was, the same as the other gnolls where they can shoot multiple shots at a time. But this guy is the target for this group because he has Solnum, which will keep you from using bonus actions. Now, I am going to spread us out a little bit here. Everything. And everybody's going to open from different spots. Comes, I'm ready. But Asterion's going to open first because he has the highest um, initiative roll. Let's do some poison and fire right in his face. Boom, sneak attack. Just like that. Yeah. And now we can it's get the other people involved. There's fire there. Let's throw a spear, Karlak. Easy. 94. Well, the reason I choose to throw spears instead of um, shooting an arrow with her is because, first of all, spears and throwing the weapons will use your strength modifier or your uh, strength for the roll, for the attack roll, and it does two hits instead of one. One from hitting them and the other from crushing damage of falling on them. So yeah, throwing spears is pretty cool. Need to keep focused. And the good thing is, is when you switch, or even that characters like Shadowheart with strength can also throw spears. So let's do the same with her, 91. Shall we done? Oh, and it crushed them both. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe I should stay crouched for And I'll use my character here. Let's I plan to rest, so I'm going to hit them with a spike wolf. Ah, oh, good. I got a good spot in the roll, so I'm gonna get back so they can't break my concentration. Let's have some carnage. Sterian is gonna move away because they are not surprised. Matter of fact, yeah, he's gonna come about right there and crouch. There's the fury. What are you doing? Big brain. <laughs> and he's dead. And he's on his way to be dead. <laughs> Let's see. Let's let's just um no we can't ah damn I wanted to thundering wave him, but I guess I can't because I use my action. Oh, he took a shot. Uh, I don't want him running closer to Shadowheart. So I'm going to come here and pull out my melee weapon. If you have your ranged weapon equipped and not your melee weapon, you are not going to get that opportunity of attack. The Starian has been hiding the whole time. This way. I'm glad to see he succeeded that roll. Let's get a shot in on this guy. Easy peasy. I chose him because he was already dying and next to Karlak for... Advantage. Come on. A sneak attack. Can't stay idle. Now, I'm gonna bring my character closer and I'm gonna use my last spell slot here to whack this guy. There we go, dead. He should be easy to Got clean this. up. You're not gonna like this, mate. And there we go. Just like that. I'm going to close my spike growth before we step in up. Going. 
I'm gonna go pick up these ears so I can craft my speed potions. And the reason we did these guys before doing these is because if we do these guys first, they're gonna pull in these guys to the fight. And I don't wanna fight them both at the same time. All right, now that they're dead, we can use this to our advantage. It's been a long day. I'm gonna come back here. I don't need any attention. Put Shadow Heart over Always here. Keep no one quiet. Karlak is gonna stand right here. Don't Asterion don't linger. is gonna come take some shots here and see if he can't kill any before the fight starts. Got one. Oh, no, we only got one. That's all right. It looks like they haven't found us yet, so let's see if we can't peg another. Let's aim for this one. Well, I don't know what's happening here. Oh. I'm just going to keep shooting. Until they come for me, I'm just going to keep on shooting. Oh, there we go. <laughs> they finally realized what was going on. A better position. Now, the first thing they're going to do is something called Sudden Rush, where they're all going to get extra movement and they're going to come sprinting at us. But we can lay a trap for them. Um, let's see. Do we not have grease? Yeah, we got some grease here. Looks like we don't have a scroll of it, though, oddly. Yeah, we'll go ahead and throw a bottle of grease. Right about here, where they're going to come running through. And let them come running. The three stooges. Whoop. Whoop. One of them made it. Ah, oh, good. I'm going to pull us into combat right at the right time. He saved that. That's okay. Hmm. little bone chill because I do not have um, ranged weapons. There we go. Guiding Bolt take care of him. And I'm going to stack behind Karlak so that I can ensure that she's the one who's attacked and not, not any of us. There we go. 95. Hit. Perfect. And I don't want to run over there and hit him because my sword is flaming and the grease will ignite, leaving the other one to run freely again. I want him to risk falling again. Hey, wow, I don't know what that was. Oh, I guess he got through here. He did a... <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and put some more damage down, see if we can't kill one of them. We're going to focus on one until they're both dead. I could go up to him and attack him, but I don't want to put my character near him because she's not, um, not tanky. Not made for melee. And these guys are made for melee. So if I can help it, I'm not going to put melee near him. There we go. And once again, we're going to go and collect all these ears because they also drop ears. We're also going to pick up all of this stuff here, holding the left alt key. All of this is camp supplies. Can be used to long rest. Alright, after each camp, don't forget to use your buffs and we're gonna head back up over this way and we're gonna head towards the road where we can jump across here over there's the goblin camp and we're gonna follow down this road over here some stuff but we're not ready to get to that yet I'll take that Right, if you're looking at this sign here, coming at, here's Joaquin's Rest.
right here to the left of the sign. Keep going a little bit. And there's a little gro grove here. There is a spot to dig, and there's always going to be a level 3 spell here. It's either going to be something like Fireball, Lightning Bolt, maybe uh, Vampiric Touch, but it's always going to be a level 3 spell. Fireball, hell yeah. My favorite. That thing could swallow us in a gulp. Fireball is a very, very, very good Smoke. spell. Something's burning. Nobody hears a dro uh, drow, so we can just walk in. Perfect. There's some armor Are here for Asterion if you'd like it. Or for me if I want to put it on. Now, I'm going to have Karlak go free the Chancellor. Uh -huh. You can knock down the door that way. Or, you can do it this way. Come over here and destroy this barrel. Come on in. Jump up here. Come right on over here to this door. Smash it down. There we go. Now she's free. And she'll follow us on out. She'll manage to talk to us before we ever get out, too. Oh. She's going to stop us and tell us that it has to wait. Oh, no. Fresh uh, there we go. Quest done. Your boldness is a blessing. Counselor, mm -hmm. are you... No. And you can choose whatever you, you want here. May I, I am going to choose yes. I will travel west. Sa go. I will... Fist? And I think... Let's see. Who is capable of using this stuff? I think... Asterion is. Shadowheart is not. Looking ahead. I am also not. I mean, I'm capable with that, but I don't want to do that. And I can give Asterion this. Perfect. All right, now I'm gonna have Karlak come over here and head upstairs. <laughs> And she is going to break down this wall. Alright. Now we're gonna go over here and free this guy. <coughs> barbarian strength. Advantage because barbarian. Hurry! Get this thing off me! And still only rolled just enough. Alright. Thank you. Now, it auto-paused time while we were in that cutscene, so I'm going to go ahead and move before I unpause time. Move my character here. All right, now me, Shadowheart, and Asterion are going to head over this way and into this little barn right next to this haystack. This haystack has something in it. Ugh. And of course, they all are going to be a pain in the ass. The Starion over here. Set Shadowheart over here. Now, we want to pass a check here. There we go. In here is the dowry that that guy is going to be looking for. And I'm not walking back across that fire. All right, let's go give him the dowry. The home key on the keyboard will snap your camera back to you. Reignite or rejoin Carlac with hey, us. There we go. You should have stayed. How did you two get separated? I just kept my mouth shut about that. What about before. that dowry? She said I'd never see her again. I think I found it. There you go. I know this. There we go. Quest solved. Now we're gonna head back down here because we're going to go meet the Zinterim. Since we already dealt with Rugen, it should not be a big deal. All right. Then here is the Zinterim, and since we already talked to Rugen, we have the passphrase. You spot a man. Bugger. Right there. There we go. Oh, hell. 
Well, down you go then. All Entrance right. is hidden beyond. And because we already saved Ruben so and enough. did not mess up the shipment, we're going to get access to Brim, the traitor. And Brim has special gloves. Some of the best gloves in the game. Well, they're itemized gloves. They are for stealing only. They give you slight advantage or sleight of hand advantage. And after we get that, we will really start stealing. That's far enough. What? Hold on, that's the last who said we you go. Come down. Save Rugen, best friends. Let's head on down. And we have to talk to Zaris first. We can't just talk to Brim. He won't talk to us yet. Only after we talk to Zaris. Be wary. All right. And she is going to give us a bow, a little bit of gold, and now we can use the trader. Right down here, Brim. Very well. He also is in charge of this guy. And what now? we want to free this guy. So I'm going to bring a Starion because he has the highest charisma. Well, if you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most pet artist? protection. And if it's painted, kidnapping. Him, and then we're going to mate. see about um, not so much persuading him right here. Not this one. We're going to do this one. See if someone's looking for him. That way, he will just let him go. Perfect. These artsy tosses all, but. Take the money, bastard. There we go, and we freed him. No gold paid. No. Well, you should have. Well, he's going to ask us for gold, and I'm not going to give him gold. But right. You can choose whatever you'd like in this conversation. It's not particularly uh, meaningful. And we will see him again in Baldur's Gate. Something right. I can help you with. Then we'll talk to Brim. And get our gloves. Gloves of thievery. Boom. That's what we want. 156 gold. It's cheap. I don't know why I just tried to give you 125. There we go. That's what we wanted. Now we have a smuggler's ring. Advantage on gloves. Or advantage gloves. We can also use guidance. And a buff from Shadowheart. Using all of those and the likelihood of you failing to steal is very, very low. And I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to take Asterion. He is going to put on this necklace of guidance. He's going to put on these gloves. What's next? Shadowheart is going to... Whoa. I'm going to drop that for now. Use Enhance Ability, Cat's Grace, on Asterion. There we go, and that will last until long rest, as long as Shadow Heart is concentrating. And she only needs to concentrate on it long enough for me to do what I want to do. And that's to go in here and basically take everything Aaron has. Aaron's my favorite to take from. Because he's always got his back turned and no one's near him. <laughs> and you'll see that on some of these stealth rolls that um, they're so low that they're negative. All right, we'll pause time so nobody walks over here. And we're just gonna start taking. There's a zero. A minus one. I'm gonna take all these health potions. Speak to animals. I'll take the scroll. Now, there's a chance that I may fail, fail a roll, and that's okay if I fail a roll. I will flee and come back. <laughs> Like a good thief. I can use these. That's 
and I'm of course going to take all his disarming stuff and food. Camp supplies stealing is the best because you can just long rest whenever you want. Hmm, do you have anything else I want? Maybe some dye if I'm feeling like it? Nah. Hmm. Maybe I'll see about taking his gold. 15. Hmm. Mine now. See you later, Aaron. And then when you get far enough away, you just head on back to where you were with your companions. And we're good. My faith will guide me. Now Starion can put his normal stuff back on. Got ourselves some fat scrolls. Yeah. Easy peasy. All right, now we're back in the Dru Druid's Grove, and as you can see on this save file, the idol is still there. So now we're gonna steal it where we. Don't mess it up this time, yeah? So let's separate Asterion. Still breathing. Let's bring all of us to camp. Asterion's gonna come over here now and get ready to steal the idol. Alright, now we need to have green area when trying to steal it and not red. We're gonna try to steal this idol again. Throw down the darkness. Let's pause time. Do we have any invisibility potions? No we don't, but we have a scroll of invisibility. And we're gonna take that idol. We're gonna come over here, and we're gonna crouch our way through Unpause Time, Emerald Grove environs. Now, since the Rite of Thorns has been stopped, since um, we convinced Kaga otherwise, magically, we managed to take the idol with no problem. There should not be a civil war now. Should be just fine. As long as you don't go down there, they shouldn't try to stop you and question you. I don't think Aaron's gonna try to question you. But just in case he does... Now he can't see us. And we're gonna go actually deliver the ring- or the statue to Mole. Here we go. That is the proper way to do it. So now you have seen the improper way and the proper way. But I mean, you could do the improper way on your own. Back. Here you go, Mole. Thanks for the ring. Meet up with the rest of the group now. No one back home will ever believe this. And we have ourselves a ring of invasion. There we go. And I'm going to give that to Carlac. I'm also going to take the spurred band ring and put it on Carlac. So now she is a little bit more buff. Some Scratch is awesome. Oh, well, he's got a ball. In his mouth. Oh no. Cool thing about these scratch rolls is you can just try again. I have worse animal handling than I do sleight of hand as a druid. <laughs> That's funny. I guess we're gonna try to steal it. Give myself some guidance. It's failing to get this ball from him. He relinquishes the ball. There we go. It is well chewed and slick with drool. I like the ball because you can throw it, and he'll bring it back to you. Look at him waiting for me to throw it. Now he's gonna run for it. <laughs> I have to keep going. 
Now for the next part, we're going back to the blade. Oh, torn to pieces. These goblins aren't exact. So far, we have completed everything through here and through here. Um, we still have a few things over this way. Still have some things down here, but we are not ready for those things. But yeah, all of that part of the map is done. Now, there's a specific quest here um, with Aridin and Barth and um, one of the tieflings with a missing locket that I didn't do, but it's not something that rewards you with any special item, so I just kind of skip it usually, and I totally zoned out on it. It's not a very important quest, but if you check the description, I do still have a complete written guide of Act 1 Up that is from Baldur's Gate Wiki. They uh, put together a whole written guide that you can select quest by quest. It's pretty cool. But, alright, now, in the Bladed Village, we have spiders here in the well still, and I don't want to do that because the matriarch spider is level 6. So now we're going to actually start to make our way towards the goblin camp. <laughs> I never looted Fezzerk. There is a dig spot here. Hmm. What's that? It's a dig spot. Now over this way just takes you into the swamp. I have no reason to go there. Um, now, this direction here is... There's nothing over here. It's only if you're trying to get around these goblins here without talking to them because you're afraid you can't pass the roll or something. But... I have the Mask of the Shapeshifter. So, I am going to turn myself into a drow. Oh, and then they will let me pass, no problem. Goblin respect drow. Shove out the claw! Drow coming through! Love that shapeshifter mask. And once it's done, you can actually put your other one back on and you will stay shapeshifted. Which I'm going to stay shapeshifted for now, because there's a couple more things in here we need to be drow for. Well, actually, just one more thing. The There's nothing special the about this cutscene. You can skip you through it. It doesn't matter what you choose for dialogue. I don't know. You can choose to pry further if you want. It's up to you. I don't care. It's not that it's not good story. I've just seen it a hundred times. Now we're going to talk to Grat here. He's got some boots I want for Shadowheart. Boots of aid and comfort. So she'll be doing a lot of healing. They are good for her. There's other stuff here. This is good for Asterion since he uses bows. I also can go back to my camp where I have been storing things to sell. Now I'm going to get Volo kicked off the stage so I can progress his further. I never do it. His story further. You have to get him kicked off the stage, but doing any talking to him whatsoever will get him kicked off. Crusher, he's got a ring that I do not want right now. I'm gonna head up here though behind him. Right over here. The ladder. I'm gonna pick up this. Now back here. Whoa. <laughs> Back here, there's a chest, but there is traps along the way. So, I'm going to get rid of the traps. The best way to get rid of the traps is with someone who can detect them, hopefully. Oh, the camera's being so bad. Traps. Someone who can detect them and either walk past them or disarm them. There's still more traps, don't be fooled. At least I thought there was. No? Okay. A crooked there we touch. go. There's no trap on the chest. And inside is the glowing shield. 
once per short rest, it will give you temp HP or something. Uh, 50 points take 50% take damage, and you get eight health points. I'm gonna send that to Shadowheart. Now we're gonna walk across the way here. Over to here. And I'm gonna use a speak with animals potion and talk to the elder cone. Well now, you look like a tough right. and you're gonna need mm -hmm. this. Um there it's got we go. feathers, don't it? Besides Reckon it owes us again. Oh, cut. You just gotta check, gotta do it simple, like I say. Let's but not see. Easy. I won't be part of no it. No skin off my. Scott I want to talk to you. Hungry. I have a camp. New home. Got to get away. The cub seems anxious to leave. No gotta talk to boy. them. Brave enough to take on our new chicken. It's there we go. I'm leaving, and the owlbear's coming with me. Is you now? As the symbol mm -hmm. glows, and power, I am going to use Illithid. Authority. Illithid and Guidance. Just because I'm positive. You're a, you're a true soul. Yeah. Something stiff. Big pardon. There we go. Now the owlbear is going to go to my camp. If you're trying to talk to something and it keeps moving, you can pause time. I don't think we need to talk anymore, though, because... Oh, I hope can follow my there we go. Yeah, it was dashing away. All right, now we're going to come up here behind her. What? The ladder, please. <laughs> There's a dig spot over here. And up here, there's a chest. Inside of it is just a heavy crossbow, I think. I don't think there's anything else in it. Ooh, this is interesting. And that can, that goes to Asterion. Now, it may take longer, but it might be more helpful for you to right-click and divvy up items before you ever do anything else with them so that you don't have to worry about a full inventory. See, oh, nope, there's some things here. Starion, send to camp, because we don't need that either. I'll let you keep your gold for now. I'm not trying to start a big war out here. Now we're going to come on side. If you save Saza, she will be here waiting for you. But I've already listed as a trap, so... Let's do what we have to do. Don't care, Shadowheart. I'm gonna keep moving. And I am going to get everybody branded. Branding doesn't do anything to hurt your playthrough at all. It has no negative consequences except for a little bit of companion approval. No one cares about that. You ready? I don't know, As you might. If you care about that and you don't want the companion approval, you or you don't lose the companion the approval, it's not going to no, hurt you not to do this. this needs... you ready? Because the Brace only yourself. thing it gives you is the ability to the use the items she has, an amulet and a shield. The shield really only no, serves as you giving yourself um, heroism so in conversations. That's really all I use it for. But I like the heroism the because it helps help. me later Let's get going. in the you monastery. Here, now I'm going to grab this health potion voice. here. Do you feel and I'm going to head over to Roa and see what Roa's got. Head back over voice. this way. Volo here in the cage. We're gonna talk to Gribbo. Well, thinking my Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. He's my pigeon. Um, your plans? What's it to ya? And like the one of my own. Glows. 
but you feel nothing in response. Mm. Your illicit power is beyond reach until you rest. Looks like I'm gonna have to use some buffs here. Probably some rerolls. Oh no, okay, cool. Take him, bring him back. He's the key. Now Volo is able to escape, and he will go to our camp. <laughs> Look at this. I guarantee the Get story yourself to safety. We must tally. Go to my camp, and we'll talk there. Now he's gonna go to your camp. Now we're gonna talk to everyone's favorite massachist. We're gonna use Carlac. Now, the way you get a special buff called Ardent's Apostle is to take off all your armor. But you can equip your camp clothes so you don't have to look at whatever you chose. Are you also I would Then we're gonna go ahead and forgive me, but get please our love of Shadow or Leviatar love buff. An ardent apostle yes. because we're doing it without this armor. Will, will cleanse and I'm you. gonna do all do intimidation because Karlak gets advantage for being a barbarian. <laughs> He's just dancing away. There we go. I am proud and to now serve we have you. Lodviatar's love. So when we drop to a certain percentage of health, we it get a bonus like to attack rolls and wisdom saving throws. For Three turns. Wow. Go. Regroup everybody. Oh, take nice. a short rest to get that health back. And we are going to head back this way along this bridge right here to this skeleton. What's hiding here? Who has a ring of poison resistance. Here we go. And we're also, I just realized we have Scratch. So I'm gonna summon Scratch. Scratch is super cool because he finds treasure and stuff buried and lead you straight to it. All right, now we're gonna head back this way. I'm over here. And the first thing we're going to do is start getting ready. Oh, Jesus. Start getting ready to deal with Minthara. Minthara the Night Warden. Looks that way. But scouts said they heard something moving around out there. Oh, healing Saza would be here if you had her. Our prayers elsewhere. Now I'm gonna separate everybody. I do not want to be piled up whenever the fight breaks out. Because there's things. going to inevitably be a fight. I am not choosing to turn the grove over. Alright. How many raiders do we have? Shadowheart's gonna go here. Lords of hunters and a few pariahs to carry the powder kegs. I'm gonna wait on this eyeball. Last time. What they do ain't exactly fighting. All they gotta do is light up their powder. Pretty sure they're not gonna say anything if I do this. There we go. Get rid of that stupid eyeball. What now? And now I'm gonna go over here and turn this light off. Stealth. This mighty drum is powerful I'm enough gonna to be break it. Now nobody gets to use it. No reinforcements. And we prepare ourselves. Now, how are we doing on spell slots? Shadowheart is missing all of her level two. That's fine. It's because of buffs. There we go. I'm full on mine. Question. Might wait to see I, uh, if Zerga walks away. I'm yeah, not sure I want to deal with sudden, an extra goblin. The Minthara has high ability to uh, resist your spells and stuff because she is level 6 and we are level 4. Look at all this stuff she has, but Anyways, her favorite thing to do is going to be, first of all, she is going to use soul branding. Soul branding gives her and 
her ally that she chose extra fire damage. Secondly, she is going to use hold person. Hold person on really anybody she can, but it's going to be hard to hit her with something like hold person. I think Shadowheart, even with 18 wisdom, has like 35% to nail it on her. Let's see. Uh, let me try command. Yeah, like 30%. It's very, very low. So, a good thing to do here will be focus on using spells that um, she has to save, like uh, Moonbeam. I'm going to be using that a lot on her. And she also, though, as a paladin, has smites. And yes, those, those smites, they hurt. Um... I'm not going to have a conversation with her. I don't care about having a conversation with her. I know that I want the conversation to end in her dying. So that's happening regardless. That's good so game. instead of allowing her to even have a chance to roll higher than me and get the first attack, I'm taking the first attack. I'm going to go ahead and give everybody here a potion. Starion's going to take Colossus. It was either Bloodlust or Colossus, and I want to hold on to the Bloodlust, because ideally we don't have 20 or 30 goblins coming if in I here. Must. And we are going to have Asterion open. Let's use his second action here. Let's see. What do we got? 84, 84. Now, Minthara is going to be the worst to deal with out of all of these guys. They're going to throw some acid, come over, hit you, do the rally war cry. They normally do that stuff, but she's going to be the killer. So she is who I'm dealing with first. Probably going to miss. Oh, got her. Very good. I'm going to hit her with a... Ooh, yes, the off balance worked as well. Perfect. Survival is all that matters. Now, sixteen percent chance for this, huh? That's a lot of movement for that. I don't know about all that. Sixteen. Instead, I might lay down this moonbeam. Yeah, that's looking good. She's likely to heal herself. I'm imagining on her turn, her first turn... Oh, she's surprised, so that's good. We'll get to lay maybe a little bit more damage into her. I'm not getting closer to try that 16 because of these goons. Starion's going to get him to bite. There we go. Move him here. They're surprised, though, so they shouldn't get an opportunity. Let's see, Scratch. We're gonna move him over here to help protect Shadowheart. His job is just being guard dog with the healer. There's that acid up, oh, and he did his job. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see, 64. 80, take it. Ah. Hmm. What about you? You have all of your stuff. Very good. I'll help you with saving throws. What we got here? Ooh, multicolored lights. Protective. Cool. Let's see. Wild magic. The end of Barbarian's Rage. Any allies? Ah. Oh. Cool. Let's attack her. And she's dead. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Knees high. Now, we're going to leave her here as the easy target. Her AC is increased, increased from her wild magic. And Shadowheart's going to heal herself. That's fine. Uh huh. Throw your rocks. He's not surprised anymore, but 
I'm not going to get advantage attack on him because of... There we go. Because no one was near him and I did not stealth. Now... Yeah, goblin should be way easier to hit with Halo. And they can save it, so that's fine. But we still have Moonbeam. Put that down. You're likely to try to jump across and land in it. So that's good. Unless you're going to throw something to break my concentration. Not bringing a Starion too close. Oh, she jumped right out of range of it. That's fine. You're still in a position to give Karlak advantage. He doesn't drop anything I care about. So we're just going to throw him into the void. Fuck off. You don't... There we go. Ah. It's fine. Let's go ahead and shoot her. The last goblin. Easy to kill. Because she's next to Karlak, we get advantage. Sneak attack. Boom. Done deal. And Minthara also has a um, parasite, which I want. I'm taking this, 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 this. I'll send the rest of this crap to camp. Parasite. Some boots here. Water sparkers. When you stand in water, the water becomes electrified. I don't like the boots. <laughs> because they always electrocute me when I don't want them to. This is good for Shadow Heart. I'm gonna give this to Karlak to throw now. Go. This is good for me. This will not be good for anybody but Cam. <laughs> I'll give this to Asterion to help with stealth checks, including thieving. There we go. All right. Now, nobody was alerted to combat yet, so nobody's going to try to fight us. We can still freely walk through here. However, now... We are going to go to camp really quick and talk to Volo. And we're going to get his quest line going. Do you want him to that, examine us? That, tell me. That's quite impossible. As there's not a tentacle, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Examine me and find oh. out. I don't want it red. I mean, there we go. Can you give us a chest piece? Bardic, don't need it. Now, after you take a long rest, he will be prepared to further his quest, but I'm not taking a long rest yet. One thing I'm doing before I take a long rest is getting rid of Priestess Gut. Now, I'm going to come up here because of my range and spells. Kastarian is also going to come up here. Carlac go. is going to come right down here in the thick of it. No Shadow Heart. I'll go this way. It's going to stay right here until further notice. Hey, Starion is going to come over Check here. Out. Let's move. Now, one thing to be aware of with Priestess Gut is she has an ability that will straight up yank you from anywhere you're at. So if you're up there. On the rafters, she will yank you down from the rafters and you will fall. So, ideally, if you're taking shots up there or doing things like that, you move back away from the edge afterwards. You don't want to be caught on the edge or you will be coming down. This is a very good opening. And the reason it's a good opening is I can shoot this down and all of these guys are going to get hit. Just like this. Perfect. Now we fight. And Gut is behind on the turn order. Good. Rage. C4. 
see about getting a Starian involved. See about getting a Starian involved. Watch your back. Uh, oh, she got a good one this time. Look at that. Until the end of the Barbarian's Rage, enemies that hit them take damage in retaliation. Very good. I like it. Now we're going to open with a Starian. He is going to... Hmm... Let's do normal basic poison. Um, I don't want to fire a acid arrow down at gut because that will leave acid on Carlac as well, and that is not something I want. I am going to put a moonbeam on her. Just like that. Ooh, very good. I'm right ahead of her. Ooh, not good. She's not surprised. So she's gonna get to act before me because I joined late. What is, it? What is her health at? Oh yeah, she's got a lot of health still. Brace ourselves. We've got poison. Um, I don't think I poisoned it. I think I poisoned the damn <laughs> knives. <laughs> so now we are going to. Karlik is resistant to fire, so we're gonna fire. There we go. Sneak attack. Boom. Gut took big damage. That's what I'm talking good. about. Let's hit her with a bleed. Ah, she shielded it. Of course she did. Shadow Heart, go ahead and... Ah, darn. This goblin's gonna be kind of annoying. Gut is not only gonna heal herself, but someone else is gonna try to heal... You are gonna try to heal her as well. That's fine, and you burn to death. Good. She's on fire. Oh! As I told you, somebody's getting yanked. She didn't heal herself. What a fool. Neither did her buddy. Oh, she's dead. This fight's already over. Wow. <laughs> Hungry for the soup, sir. Uh -uh. Staring it over doing. here. Give gut a little bit First more of this here. Moonbeam. Oh, she lived. Now, can I spore anybody without coming all the way down there? No. Lame. Alright, I'm gonna hide now. Very good. Have Carlac get rid of gut. <gasps> Go. I'm gonna come right over here and throw this goblin in the moonbeam. Ooh, look at that. Why did you take so many different types of damage? Why did you take lightning, radiant, and I know why you took radiant, but why fire and lightning? Well, you're already on fire. Where'd the lightning damage come from? Weird. Oh yeah, her gloves and stuff. Yeah, okay. Duh. Let's end this. Now, Shadowheart is surrounded. I'm gonna have her get rid of these two, three gobos. Don't care if she takes an attack. That's fine. Let's try to get these guys out of here. There we go. All three of them and broke the drum. That's what we wanted. Now that Gut's not here to pull us down, let's head upstairs. Heal ourselves. Took a shot at Asterion. You should have moved, you fool. Oh, look at that. He can crouch. And you're dead. Alright, let's get him moving back up away from all that and it's higher ground. 
Who is... You're still in Moonbeam. We got our warlock back here that's gonna get on my nerves. wonder if the gods are watching me. Well, let's put it like this. Perfect. Hide again. Yes, come stand next to Carla so she can cleave you. <laughs> Warlock go. died to fire. Carlac cleave. And she's gonna heal. Boom. Shadow Heart's gonna come on over here and see if she can get a good shot. Oh no. Bad shots. Now take the 42, why not? Time to kill. Darian's gonna come around over here. He's gonna crouch and he's gonna take a shot. There we go. Time to push my luck again. Now I still have Moonbeam. See if I can't finish you off. And you lived. That's fine. Now you're dead. Alright, easy peasy. Moving ahead. Just like that, Priest has got is down. And Torture Spike and Roa were not even aware that it happened. So I can still go interact with either one of them if I want to. Interesting times. Best be on we're going to head on over to Drawer now. Still don't need to camp. Still have enough spell slots. And nobody was notified. We're going to have a Starian lockpick. Go. Crouch everybody and separate them. Now, we're all going to sneak around and head up this ladder. Don't go over here. There's smoke powder. They will blow it up on you, and it will suck. I'm going to go here. Now, I am going to send a Starian over here. I want everybody up top because I want love to, thanks. the bonus to hit. Really? Now? Yes, really, now. Pause time. I'm going to coat my bow and draw poison because it rescue. put them to sleep. And I'm going to open on drawer. And miss completely. I'm going to try again. Got him. Sort of fight. There we go. Well, he's resistant to it now, but he didn't fall asleep. Sad face. That's all right. Now we start combat. Let's move Shadow Heart over here, and I'm going to focus on Drawer because he is the threat of everyone. And I am going to lay down as much damage on him as I possibly can. Think you can take me on. Big fat one damage. Can't slow down. You know. Shall we cut and run? Um let's see, Carlac. Well, well. Let's have you throw a grease bottle here so that actually getting to us is not easy. Can you feel death's cold? Move a Starian back. You don't want to be an extra drawer. Not with that hammer. This goblin here with the bow has a void bulb where she can pull you down. Um, one of them has a shrap bomb. I believe it's a hook. Um, but if Drawer gets next to you, he's got a, two different knockbacks. One in the form of his weapon and the other in the form of ability. So ideally, you don't go near him. And even if the goblins are taking shots at you, 
sure they can. Their chance to hit you is actually pretty low. And most of them have to rush to even get up here. Oh, they ran in here because of... That's fine. They ran in here because of the war drum. Shadow Heart's just gonna move on back. That's fine. This is my happy place. Why do you have to run all the way this way when you can just... Hmm. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and rage. She's gonna take attacks. No. Her surge this time is to shoot bolts of light. It's not strong, it's pretty weak. Probably won't use it. Because your buddy <laughs> threw alchemist fire, you all get to run through it. <laughs> oh, even smarter, now you can't hit me. <laughs> Um, let's see. Where's Drawer? Drawer is over there. Oh, Drawer would be very easy to kill right now. I could drop that bridge and he'd go falling into the pit, but if I do that, I won't get his parasite. And I want his parasite, so, you know. Just take a shot at these two fools here. Yeah, get rid of Sharp Eye Rue as well. She's burning. She's not gonna live. Um, you fools made a real mistake. Um, now I don't want to be within range of him. So, I'm gonna use my speed potion and get as far from him as I can. With haste. Here. And who do we got down here? Who can we take shots at? Got a 75 here. 90 here, 80 here, and 80 here. Can't hit him, and cannot hit Drawer. I don't want to hit Drawer anyway, he'll fall through the thing. You're an easy target. There we go. Now Drawer's gonna come running up here, and Shadowheart's probably gonna get clobbered. It's clobbering time, and he's gonna catch on fire. Oh shit. Yeah, fuck you, drawer. <laughs> he still tried to knock me off. And now you're gonna catch on fire? Buddy's alchemist fire was just a perfect throw. Problem solved there. How far does this reach? Doesn't even reach him. Let's throw this at him. Oh, I thought he'd take crushing damage. Shame. That's all right. Not. Oh. <laughs> Tried to get them up from being prone, but they're still knocked down. <laughs> That's funny. Um, let's see if we can make Drawer drop his weapon. That's all right. I could have gotten away with not sanctuarying her, but I did anyways. Because I want her to be able to try to run past Drawer without taking an advantage attack or an opportunity attack. Because this is a bad spot to be. Oh no, this doesn't look good. That's all right. Um, well, 
let's see if we can't get him away. Okay. Second time's the charm. There we go. Send him back down to his people. Then I'm gonna get in the darkness, because they can't hit me in the darkness. They're dumb for even doing it. Let's suit some fire over here. Come on, then. To make coming up here more less worth it. Gotta catch on fire to come up here. Let's go. <laughs> drawer's just mad. He's probably gonna throw something. No, he just ended his turn. I wonder if one of the goblins are gonna try to heal him. No, they're too far to heal him. Oh, there's that void bulb. <laughs> That's funny. Found the void bulb. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get rid of Drawer. Incoming. I don't want to deal with him anymore. Ugh. Hit him! <laughs> Damn it. See, that, that bolt is useless. That's all right. She's fine. See? Perfectly fine. Uh-huh. Go ahead and throw that. Problem solved. I like that you're taking lightning damage as well. That's very I nice. This is worth the cost. I am not super worried about being near you. You hit me when I was prone. I have high enough AC. Come. Prone gives them advantage, so he won't hit me again. Uh, 90... 90... Whoa, uh, 95? No, Let's take escape. that. Gone. Door's still alive. He's <laughs> throw things at me. Now come on over, drawer. You don't scare me. Saddle Heart's gonna take a shot. Uh huh. Yeah, good try. You know what, buddy? Why don't you help me out here? Go say hello to Roar for me. You missed. Give me on the go. You had one job. <laughs> one job. Oh, what? All right, let's go down here and do some healing. Out of hearts. Gonna heal us a little bit, y'all. Yeah. All right, now we have to get rid of Drawer on this turn. He's he's going to start to become a pain in the ass. Oh, Drawer, huh? That's like that. Oh, it's a little warg. Look how tiny he is. Why is he so tiny? Aren't he usually much bigger? Oh, wait, a Starian's big. <laughs> All right. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go take the shot at drawer. Perfect. Done deal. I was lethargic. This on Shadowheart. What are you gonna do now? Great sickness, that's fine. I don't know why you came up here. Let's shoot Invisition. you with the little bolt thing. I need a 55 on them. Oh, it blinded her. Nice. That's pretty cool. Easy. Take that. Still down here swinging at me. Oh, that's all right. The chance you hit me with that is very, very slim. 
Now, I want to get this guy away from my character ideally, but I'm going to have trouble doing so, it looks like. I guess. Mm, but I also want to drop this. I don't know if it's going to hit anyone, though. I'm going to try it anyways. Hit them both. Perfect. 55. Yeah, get away from me. Um, gonna be resting soon, so enjoy running after us. What are you doing? Okay, you got through her temporary health points. Bring Karlek over here, have her shoot this down. That's what you get for going near that, silly. What are you gonna do? You're gonna jump out. Good move. Well, the only way you're getting us is to come up this ladder, buddy, or you're gonna have to walk all the way around. Shame. It's a real shame. He's still taking them shots. <laughs> Let's see, 72, 90, he's dead. I'm gonna bring Asterion back oh, wow. over this way because this goblin is gonna start to get annoying. To keep going. What do I have that I can throw at you? I got a fire bolt I can throw at you, but I don't really wanna do that. Uh, let's see. Almost. Cut your fire, baby. Got it. Take your shot, Carlac. There we go. All done. And drawer is dead. Easy peasy. We had a death or a down because <laughs> I was incorrect about who had the void bulb. That's fine though. As you can see, we recovered just easy. Or just as easy. There's Chor's weapon. I don't really need that because I have a really good weapon already on Karlak and I'm going to cancel that so no one gets hurt. There's that smoke powder bomb. I'm glad they didn't get a chance to use that. And because we didn't destroy them, I'm actually going to come over here and pick up and take these smoke powder bomb barrels for my own. Those will be used at a later date. And now we're going to use our key. Unlock Drawer's little treasure, treasure pile. These gloves are good for Karlak. These gloves are good for us. Their boots are good for a Starion. This will work for Shadowheart. And I'm going to take this stuff. That's what my engine's made of. Yeah. Hang on to that. We did it. Now we can go free Halson. But here's one thing I did not do before freeing Halson, which I should have done, is dealt with Carlac's, um Infernal Iron. But the good news about the Infernal Iron is that you can do it again in Act 2. So you're only delaying it. You're not really missing out. Give that to Karlak. So, in Act 2, we will continue with Karlak's um, quest with the Infernal Iron. But for now, we are going to go and free Halson. 